What's up everyone? Using a new camera because I broke the other one at the gym. Smart move, Caroline. We are heading to the gym right now and it's leg day for me, per usual. David, I think is hitting shoulders. Uh, I'm gonna do legs. I may also do shoulders. I'm not sure. Never ask him to make decisions. He says I'm indecisive. No, I go with the flow. Call me and chill. You're right. So, either way, today I am officially 15 weeks out from the show that I'm planning to hit this year. So I told you guys I'm gonna start vlogging more. My goal is gonna be daily vlogs, but that probably won't happen until like maybe 12 weeks out or so. We'll see how things go. We got a lot of moving pieces in life right now. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of this workout. We're gonna talk a little bit about competition prep to total cost. I've gotten some questions about, so I wanna break it down for you guys and posing tips. So have fun and join us on this journey.
hope you guys enjoyed that leg workout. Most of you know I have been doing legs three times a week um, for the past like three months actually. I've been following my husband's workout protocol he made for me, modifying it here and there, and you know we collaborate in a lot of stuff. So if you guys are looking for a wellness training protocol, let us know, we'd be glad to help you out. And posing is always, always a practice, you know. I get asked a lot, like, when's the right time to start practicing posing? Honestly, if you've never competed before, it's really good to just start any time so that you understand what your physique is supposed to be looking like. And it's going to change as you diet down, right? Like, the video I showed just now, my physique should change pretty dramatically over the next 14 weeks. And, you know, I'm going to share that as transparently as I can and the struggles that I face, the hurdles I'm overcoming, stuff like that. So now I get this question a lot is what does it actually cost to compete in a bodybuilding competition? So I added up basically what are the minimum that you'd be looking at from a national competitor standpoint. This isn't necessarily a local show, so if you are looking to do a local show as well, the numbers might be a little bit lower, but if you are someone who's striving to reach a higher caliber physique, this is where your total cost would come in. And I'm gonna show you guys here as well. So first and foremost, show entry, usually $200 to $250. Traveling, and I put in flying. Right now, flight averages are about $250 to $300, depending on where you're flying domestically. So we are going towards the higher end, 300 bucks for a flight round trip. Hotel, usually you're gonna stay at a venue for three nights. You wanna come in two days before the show, the day before is check-ins, and then show day, you're gonna stay that night and then usually leave the following. $450 on average for hotel if you Estimate a night is $150. For spray tan, which is mandatory, getting two coats, 150 bucks. Usually the standard price, no matter what brand, if it's the host spray tan company or another one that you use. Heels, that's gonna be, usually you don't have to buy them every year. I actually am gonna have to buy new ones this year because I used mine last year so much that the strap broke. So that's going to be about $75. Suit. Depending on your situation, you can get a rental suit, you can buy a brand new suit, you can have a suit that you use year over year. I actually am fortunate enough to be sponsored by Flexibella Kosher this year. And if you decide to get one of her beautiful suits, let her know you found her through me. Um, I appreciate it. And on average, a suit, if you're wanting one that's really like bedazzled, sparkly, it's gonna range from $750 to over $1,000. I put $750 as like a safe price in the middle because you can get them for less than that as well. Makeup, getting your makeup done professionally, I highly recommend, especially as newer athletes or at a national stage. I've done my own makeup for some shows, but when I'm trying for my pro card, I want my makeup to be spotless. And so that's about 150 bucks. Getting your hair done, I got my hair done one show and I did my own hair for another show. It's gonna range you about $100. Some of these hair and makeup artists have packages so that you can get both of them at the same time for a, a discounted rate. Nails, I actually, um, I've gotten my nails done. I hate getting my nails done. So I bought these stick-ons last year that worked out great. I can put the link below, it's called Static Nails. But if you're gonna get your nails done, on average it's $40. Prep Coach. So this will change, but across the board, on average, a very good high level prep coach for a prep is gonna cost you about $1,200, $400 a month if you're doing like a 12 week prep on average. It's gonna vary, of course. Supplements, this varies per person as well. This is for a female, males is gonna be more. If you're looking at just base supplements like your EAAs, your protein, um, L-carnitine, if you're gonna be doing creatine, which is super cheap, any of your, like, I'm not talking about multivitamins and regular vitamins, but I'm talking about stuff for prep, like if you're putting on a topical to help with fat burning, um, if you are doing 
a PED cycle. Sometimes pills are over a dollar a pill, so that adds up. So I put on average supplements is about $200 for the prep, and this is probably about eight weeks to show is what I would gauge it, or 12 weeks. So overall, this competition prep expenses is over that three-month prep. Deep tissue massage. Not everyone does this. I highly recommend it as a high-level athlete. Per massage, depending on who you go to, can be $80, $60, over $100. So I put, you know, deep tissue, if you're getting one week over week, 600 bucks. Posing coach. I pose people. It's what I do. I also coach people. And don't do it for free. You know, I've done webinars, I've done seminars, but on average, if you want one-on-one -on -one time with a posing coach, you do usually have to pay them. I put on average $60 for a session. So you'd be looking at if you did um, a handful of sessions before show one session per week, 480 bucks. So our total, if we were looking at a 12 week prep with all these added in, and these are what I'm saying as like the baseline you pretty much are gonna have to pay for, comes $4,745. So just under 500 bucks. And like I said, that's not including anything else that maybe you have special requirements and needs, maybe you hire a meal prep company, you know, whatever your situation looks like. So I just try to be transparent with people. Like if you're not in a good financial situation, you probably should not be trying to step on a stage. As well as if your hormones and your health is not in a good situation. Don't try and go to a stage, period. But you, you do you, you adult, we adult. That's what adulting is. You need to budget. You need to be smart with any goals. It's just like traveling. I could go travel to Europe for that price, right? But I'm not I'm trying to go for my pro card. So I just take that into account with my financial situation, my work. Um, the reason that I'm passionate about this sport is helping other people. So, you know, there are ways that you can work around your budget and minimizing costs. I didn't put food in there either because everybody's meal plan is going to differ as you get closer and closer to a show. But all in all, I'm really excited to share my prep with you guys. Like I said, please do comment things you want to see. I'm going to try and vlog every day and make this more of a habit and a ritual because I find a lot more connection with you guys when I'm doing that. And it also is fun to document it and see along the way how far you come. So appreciate you guys tuning in. Like, subscribe, and share as always. And Hopefully we'll be chatting with you soon.